Hello TouchPix users, this is DJ with TouchPix. Today we are going to go over how to connect a Canon R100 to an iPad mini direct with USB-C to USB-C and an iPhone 12 with lightning with the official dongle, Apple dongle. Um, the dongle has USB-A to USB-C. First, we're going to start with the camera settings. We're going to go into the camera settings. We're going to go to submenu two. Once you're in submenu two, you're going to enable flash firing. Then you're going to go into submenu six and make sure exposure simulation is off. We're now going to go into the settings tab in submenu two and make sure that the power saving mode is disabled. We're going to start with the iPad six direct connect. First thing you're going to need to do is connect the USB-C cable directly to the side of your camera. Power off your camera, go into the TouchPix app, tap on the camera settings, make sure live view and autofocus is on, hit connect to DSLR, now we're going to plug in the USB-C to the side of the camera, now we're going to turn on the camera. If you see the computer icon, it means it did a successful connection. Let's give this a try. We're going to do a photo session. It's going to snap three photos. As you can see, the flash is firing. This is a direct connect from USB-C to USB-C. As you can see, it works flawless with touch picks on the Canon R100. You are also able to plug in a USB-C dongle with a power pass-through if that's what you wish to do. Same sequence to get it going. We're now gonna try the iPhone 12 that has a lightning port adapter with the dongle from USB-A to USB-C. We're gonna go through the same steps, go into the camera mode, make sure your camera's off, live view, and autofocus is on, hit connect. Once the wheel starts spinning, make sure you toggle it on. Once you see the computer icon, you see that it works instantly. We're also gonna do a session on this camera. And as you can see, it's firing the flash. Everything is working seamlessly with no issues. These are the recommended settings you use in using touch picks and how to properly connect to a mirrorless or DSLR camera. If you're using a fake dummy battery with your camera, please make sure you're using the proper voltage. Typically it's the fake dummy battery plugged into a USB-C cable, which is then powered into a power bank like this. Make sure it's at least three amps or greater. Thank you. This is DJ with TouchPix support, touchpix.com. Good night.